We're back with meteorologist Colton Sikoraki in for Mike tonight. Colton, I surprised looking at the Almanac, seeing 88 for the high. Didn't feel that warm. I'm guessing maybe a little less humid. It was very less humid today. We only saw dew points in the low 60s, which they've been in the 70s for past. Felt pretty good today. It did. It was a very nice day. Lots of sunshine out there, too. And a live look outside will show that sunshine continuing outside. It's a beautiful evening to be getting outside and enjoying. And like Alan just mentioned, the Almanac, we did get to 88 degrees today, but I want to focus your attention there to that bottom number here with the rainfall deficit. Now at 10.11 inches of rain below where we should be this time of year. So we desperately need to be getting some rain into the area and hopefully we can over the next several days. Current temperatures right now outside 87 degrees here in St. Joseph, 86 in Maysville and Cameron, 86 down in Kansas City and 82 degrees is your current temperature there in Hiawatha. So it's a very nice night to be outside and we're going to see these temperatures uh, one more day of heat, 89 degrees for tomorrow. But then look what happens as we go into Thursday, Friday and into the weekend. The highs do begin to fall 83 on Thursday and Friday, 79 degrees on Saturday. And I added that little note there. When was the last time we saw 70 degrees? June 22nd, so over a month since the last time we saw a high in the 70s and then 80 degrees as we go into Sunday. Tri-State Ford camera up in Maryville, nothing but clear skies up there as well. And we can think this high pressure system that is off towards our north and west that's causing some sinking air and that often means bright and blue sky outside. So it's a very nice evening to be outside. Zooming in on St. Joseph area, you can see very quiet conditions. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on off towards the west. But as we go into tomorrow, we're going to be watching the chance for maybe a few showers to try to develop. Here's 9 o'clock tonight. Again, very nice evening expected and we go through overnight. Clear skies are expected to continue. By tomorrow morning, that's when we're going to see a few clouds move in from the west and then it might try to bring a few isolated showers for tomorrow. I think the chances are pretty low, maybe right around 20% for tomorrow. But again, don't be surprised if you see a few sprinkles out there for tomorrow. As we go into tomorrow night into Thursday, we're going to see clouds continue and I did add another 20% chance of rain, maybe just a few isolated showers on Thursday. I'm not too optimistic about the rain chances. We definitely need it, but I think the chances are pretty low as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. For tonight, we'll be dropping down to 61 degrees. Mostly clear skies are expected with north winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. High temperature of 89 degrees. That 20% chance of rain is in the forecast. As we go through the next several days, we see the lower 80s both Thursday and Friday. And then look at Saturday, 79 degrees for the high temperature. And we do have some scattered thunderstorms that are in the forecast for Saturday and Sunday. Now the models have been kind of shifting that rain just a little bit to the south, but I'm optimistic. Hopefully we can get some rain in here because we desperately need it. And then we'll see 80 degrees on Sunday and then sunshine does return as we go into next week with high temperatures of 82 and 84 degrees. But it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing any rain and those cooler temperatures are going to be sticking around as we go through next week as well. So I think that's good news because we definitely need a break from the heat and we're certainly going to be seeing that. Well, we do. We're specifically looking at that forecast for Thursday, the first day of Chiefs training camp. That's the right. We can go out. It has been blistering hot in some of the years over time, but 